Hey guys, Chris Pratt here. I'm gonna get right to it. I wanna make you the newest guardian of the galaxy. What? I'm being serious. I've teamed up with Elmaze to offer you the chance to be my comrade for a day on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Well, this isn't your average charity fundraiser. A local company is offering once in a lifetime experiences like this one with Chris Pratt, all while helping charities around the world. And Ryan Cummins, one of the founders of Omaze, joins us now to talk about it. And Ryan, thanks so much for waking up early with us. Yeah. A lot of folks are hip to Omaze. They're getting involved in doing this. But for folks that haven't heard of it, what is Omaze? Sure. So we are an online fundraising platform. We offer the chance to win once in a lifetime experiences to benefit charity. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's different than an auction where one wealthy individual wins for us for just $10. Anybody can have the chance to, you know, be in Star Wars Episode 7 or play tennis against Serena Williams or have John Legend sing at your wedding. Wow, it is amazing. And, and the fact that you can do it for just $10, how did you come up with this idea? Sure. So my co-founder Matt and I were in the charity space for quite some time. We'd been working on these really large campaigns, creating a lot of awareness. We saw we weren't really creating as much impact as we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we both went back to B-School, basically, to spend two, two years surrounding ourselves with people far brighter than us. Um, and while we were there, we were at a charity gala. You've probably been to these before. We call them rubber chicken dinners. Uh, they were honoring Magic Johnson, and we were huge, lifelong Magic fans. And he stood up. They started auctioning off the chance to hang out with him, go to a Lakers game, play basketball, sit courtside. And we really wanted to participate in this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was only at auction, though, so only... The wealthy individuals could win, and we were business school kids. You know, we were out at 50 bucks, and it mm -hmm. ultimately cleared at 15 grand. And we thought to ourselves, you know, think about how much more money the Boys and Girls Club of America could have raised, how much more awareness they could have gotten if something like Magic Johnson, this this icon, this global icon, had made that available online for $10. Mm -hmm. And that was really where we came up with the idea. It was because mm -hmm. we were fans and we wanted to be able to participate ourselves. Okay. Real quick, I want to ask Omaze. That's kind of a unique name. What? How did that transpire? Yeah. So uh, we, we have a friend who... Um, I guess you could say is not uh, constrained by the English language. Uh, <laughs> whenever something is more than amazing, she would always go, that is amazing. <laughs> and we, we really love that story and it always stuck with us. So when we were trying to come up with uh, a name for a company that really offers celebrities and influencers the opportunity to raise even more money and awareness for people and gives fans the chance to participate in these things, we thought, you know, what's a better representation of that than something that's amazing? So. Yeah, no, I love it. And so there's a lot of things coming up. We were just talking about mm -hmm. Chris Pratt and um, Robert Downey Jr. Right. Tell, me, tell me what these things are. And what hey, honey, coming up. Sure. Uh, so right now, Chris okay. Pratt is raising money for the Lake Stevens Boys and Girls Club in mm -hmm. Seattle, Washington. Um, he's trying to build a teen center. He wants to raise half a million dollars to build that teen center. And so to do that, he's offering the chance to hang out with him on the set of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And uh, he's already now just about to hit a million dollars raised on that campaign. So he's more than doubled what he's been trying to raise to build a new teen center. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is Robert Downey Jr.? Uh, what a beautiful specimen of a human being <laughs> that guy is. So yeah, Robert Downey Jr., um, this is our second campaign with him. Uh, last time in five weeks he raised over two million dollars to build a hospice center. They built a brand new hospice center that they're renovating now called Julia's House. Uh -huh. and, uh, and he's offering the chance to raise money for Random Act Funding, which is a new fund that he's created to give spot grants to charities. So he's in this campaign supporting Make-A-Wish, mm -hmm. um, the Anti-Recidivism Coalition. Um, I don't know if you know Scott Budnick here in town, great mm -hmm. producer. And then um, uh, the Motion Picture Television Fund. And he's offering the chance to go hang out with him next week in New wow. York attend the advanced premiere of Avengers mm -hmm. and uh, or sorry of Captain America Avengers uh -huh. was the first one and uh, and have the best night of your life with Robert Downey Jr. You have a pizza party, uh, a photo shoot with props, and uh, just a, a crazy, crazy experience. And all of that for just $10. That's what's yeah. so amazing to me, that you can raise millions and millions with a whole lot of $10 donations. That is amazing. Ryan, thank you so much you for so joining much. us. We certainly appreciate it. And, of course, you can check out all the Omaze campaigns by heading to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.